Hey guys, this is Julie from Crafty Beach on YouTube and I have a really fun Halloween Dollar Tree DIY for you. I picked up some cotton twine, some black fuzzy fabric, and the flexible cutting mats from Dollar Tree. These come two in a package, I only need one. I'm gonna use it to make a tree. So I just shape it like a cone. I love using this. It's way bigger than the foam cones they have at Dollar Tree. So it's really easy to work with. You can just hot glue it. I hot glue the tip there and the bottom to give me the cone shape that I want. It's nice and sturdy, but it's great because you can cut it. So I just cut off the excess material to give me a flat bottom to the Halloween tree. Now for the fabric, I picked up this great fabric at Dollar Tree the other day. It's like a black fuzzy. Um, I think you should use black. It doesn't really matter what kind of fabric you use, but I thought this one was fun. I'm just gonna do hot glue straight down the plastic cone that we made and glue the fabric to it. As you can see, it's definitely wide enough. And then you kind of have to roll the cone shape. It's an odd shape, so I just do a straight line of hot glue to form a seam and then just cut off the excess black fabric. What I want this Halloween tree to look like is a spider web. So I thought a black background would be perfect for that. And I love this fabric, I think it's really cool. Now I do hot glue the bottom down so you can't see any of the plastic cone. And I also kind of glue the tip together so that it's closed at the top to form our little Halloween tree. So that's what we have so far. Now for the webbing, I'm gonna use this cotton twine I got at Dollar Tree. It was in with like the yarn and stuff like that. You could also use the macrame cord, but it's gonna be a little bit thicker. Or you could also use the hardware twine. Um, I just go from the very tip all the way to the bottom of the cone and I tie it off down there where you won't be able to see it. And then I do a second string crisscross, like a plus shape right there. And I'm gonna tie that off at the bottom too. Now those are gonna be like the guidelines in our little spider web that we're going to make. And that's gonna provide all of the structure. So only four of them. Now it's time to do all of the cross webs. I don't know what you would really call that. And they are kind of shaped like this, like an arc shape. And so I'm just gonna use hot glue to glue my twine down into that shape and continue using that same piece to go all the way around, connecting all of my webs right here. Now I don't want the hot glue to show, so I am using like my fine tip hot glue gun so I don't shoot out too much hot glue, but that worked really well. Now I'm gonna move up like a couple of inches and do a second row to our spider web. So do you kind of see how the spider web is forming on this? I thought, I looked at like a cone shape for a tree and I just saw a spider web for some reason and I thought this would be a really fun craft to try. So third row, I'm not really measuring anything. Spider webs definitely don't have to be perfect. I'm just kind of eyeballing what I think looks good and then hot gluing that all the way up until we fill the entire Halloween tree up. I also want to add a um, spider, a Dollar Tree spider to, you know, give it a fun spider web feel. But I really like the combination of the black fabric and the white twine. Really cute and it would go great for Halloween if you even craft with like neutral Halloween decor. Now I wanna add a spider, so I'm gonna use one of these little glitter spiders from the Dollar Tree. I don't really want it to be black on black though. I don't think you're gonna be able to see the spider very well. So I think I'm gonna paint it just for a little contrast and so you can really see the spider on the web. I decided to do like a metallic gold, so I'm just gonna use some spray paint. And I did like an insect taxidermy DIY for Halloween where I also did metallic gold insects and I think it looks really fun for Halloween. So that looks pretty good. I'm gonna make sure that I get even coverage on the front and the back so he is all golden. It really made him look more high end. And then I'm gonna attach the spider just about here on the web, kinda of so it'll be over to the side, but the front there that you'll be able to see it. This is how it turned out. I think it was really fun. If you'd like more Halloween Dollar Tree DIYs, be sure to check out my YouTube channel at Crafty Beach. And until next time, happy crafting.